I'm born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya. I grew up in a place in Nairobi called Kariobangi South, which is not one of the best places to grow up. But I could see the sacrifice that my parents, especially my mother, was actually making for us to get the best education um, and the best upbringing. I'll talk about my mom a lot because I think she is probably instrumental in who I am today in, in terms of being able to face challenges, maintaining that level of resilience and strength and being able to survive and thrive even when challenges do, do come. I wanted to be um, a writer at one point and a lawyer and then Six Million Dollar Man and then Wonder Woman. Being out, I would say literally, I think I've only been out for two years. <laughs> It doesn't change who I am, obviously. I mean, I'm still the same person. It's just um, being able to be okay with it and accept yourself and you know, bring that to other people and not feel that then they wouldn't love you or they wouldn't accept or treat you with the same kind of respect. And that's what was the biggest fear and that's what was holding me back. I didn't realize how much effort I was putting into harm acting, you know, harm dressing, how I come to work, how I speak to people, what I tell them about my personal life. There was a lot of effort going into that. So it almost like a ton being lifted off your shoulders and you have all this freedom and all this lightness um, and that you can actually do real productive work with. The fact that you are accepted irrespective of what you look like, where you come from, how you sound like, what you think, you're included. And I've experienced this most from my mother, who I think doesn't necessarily understand some aspects of my, my life or my lifestyle, but loves me unconditionally, which means that however, whatever you are, however you are, everything about you is loved, is included, is accepted. My dad passed away last year. He gave me the best advice. He said, never not be yourself. Be yourself and never deny who you are, ever, because it is the best thing about you.